Do your visitors think full moon is the best time to see detail on the moon's surface? Spotting craters illustrates why full moon may not be the best time and includes moon maps for observing features on the moon. These next items, along with a five pound bag of white flour that you need to supply, are used to allow your visitors to create a moonscape. A packet of powdered hot cocoa mix, some rocks representing meteorites, and a mid-sized polystyrene ball with a stick, an aluminum pan with lid. We also recommend supplying some newspapers. Use one of the snake lights with a ping pong ball on it for the sun. Or you can provide a flashlight to use as the sun. Cover it with a napkin or paper towel to diffuse the light. Prepare by filling the pan with your five pounds of flour and sprinkle about half of a packet of cocoa mix over the top. If you want, you can make a permanent moonscape and you can have it ready for a quick demonstration. You'll still need the flour and the pan. You might prefer to use your own cookie pan or a shallower pan for this. Like here, we're using a tray that they use to for packaged meat at the grocery store. Get your cream of tartar, also included in the bag. You'll need to supply flour, boiling water, salt, salad oil, the recipe and instructions are in the toolkit manual. Here's how to make it. Place all the ingredients in a big bowl. Mix them together. When it's all mixed together nice and stiff, empty the dough out, and after it's cooled a bit, knead it like you would bread, adding flour if necessary. When it's a nice consistency, spread it in the pan you've chosen. This dough is not sticky, and it doesn't dry out unless it's left open to the air for several days. Now you can fashion a moonscape in the dough with your hands to make mountains and craters. You might want to refer to a photograph of the moon. When you're all done, cover it to store. And no, you don't need to bake it. Now draw a little square on your polystyrene ball. Attach the stick and place it in the pan. Using this moonscape will show why full moon isn't such a great time to observe detail on the moon. No shadows.